You have over a million followers on Twitter. How important do you think social media has become in communicating the news now? Oh, it's become huge. Mm -hmm. They're updating 7 o'clock. That's me. I gotta go back to work. <laughs> okay. In about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yes, and that may be what that call is about. News. Hey, I'm sorry about this. What's up? We got an update because the Dow is down pretty significantly. How much? About 300 points. Crap. My check, so. All right. But have you do crosstalk with Kramer? One thing right that I learned about Ann Curry this Done. morning is that she works very, very hard. She's up at 3.45 in the morning. She's at the studio at quarter to five. She works all day long. She does her homework for the next day after six. Um, she's traveling to the Horn of Africa to cover one of the worst crises in decades. And uh, this woman is determined. I can honestly say that I don't know very many people who work as hard as me. I work very hard because I feel I owe it to people who are willing to watch me so, and to listen to these stories. This broadcast has given me an opportunity to do stories um, that no one cares about. Really, to, to make America care about what they should care about and know about. The goal is to reach as many people as possible with, with stories that, of consequence and to connect with them. And if it means doing a cooking segment or doing a story about, you know, fashion and, and having a relation with the viewers because of that, and that they let you talk about Darfur, they let you talk about the rage, uh, uh, the war of, of rape on women in Congo, they let you bring these these kinds of stories, what happened in Kosovo and Rwanda. They let you, they listen to you and pay attention and they care. And this is another reason. It's such an intense time. People are scared. There are mm -hmm. so many things that are making us scared. And, and I think that when we do not do stories about genocide, when we do not do stories about deep human suffering, what are we doing as journalists? I have a loyalty mm -hmm. to the people who watch this broadcast. They have been loyal to me in listening to these stories. Uh, that I've brought to them and they have cared and they've responded with amazing amounts of money for those who don't who they'll never meet in one case I did a story and within 24 hours a million dollars had been donated I think that's why this morning broadcast I think takes on a, a sort of a deeper significance I think the, there is comfort in knowing information you know there is discomfort there is more fear when there is ignorance and so our job is to, to fight fear by not having people be ignorant as much as possible. Give them what they need to know to be okay, because we're all going to be okay.